Hey everybody, you're about to watch a video by Looking At Toys. If you do like Looking At Toys, then please do subscribe to be kept up to date with uh, what we have. Hey everybody, back with another Looking At Toys video. And in this video today, we're going to be looking at the Lego Jokerland set. This is part of the DC Comics Super Heroes range that Lego are making at this time. And this set features a number of uh, exclusive figures and does also have the Joker, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, the Penguin, Starfire, Beast Boy, Robin and a Batman figure. This set is brand new in its box so we will be making it and describing as we go along. So we've just got the uh, box open and um, we've got what looks like a really thick instruction manual here and then this comes with eight individual bags. And a slide section. So this is the instruction manual here. As we can see, it's quite a thick book. Got a fair bit of weight to it as well. And then we've got some stickers. Some nice chrome detail stickers here too. And then we've got the uh, exclusive magazine that's uh, come with this. These magazines aren't in all of the sets, so I think these ones will be fairly collectible for the future. So we're going to be making a start with this and we'll be getting bag one open very soon. So we've just got uh, bag number one open and that brings us the Joker figure and the Batman figure. Both of these have got two faces. This is bag number one completed. So we've got the acid bath and the cannon made here. Cannon does feature a working part there. Got three cannonballs, these two little figures, and then of course the Joker figure and the Batman on his jumper. So we're just about to uh, make start with bag number two. So this is uh, bag number two all opened up and looking at the instruction manual, this will form part of the Batmobile. And I think we will also have to open up bag number three to complete this. Lego normally like to tease by putting a figure in each of the bags. This one hasn't actually got any figures. So we've just completed now bag number two, and this is the base structure of the Batmobile, all made. Detail-wise, we've got a little sticker that's gone on here. And on the back of the car, we have two little launchers. If you press down on the little tab, it will launch the little orange piece at the end there. Lego have given us a couple of little spares there. So we're just about to start with bag number three and we're on page number 48. And this will see the rest of the Batmobile being made. And we've got bag number three here, which this feature 
what looked like just parts for the Batmobile. It's not obvious, but it doesn't look as if there are any uh, figures in this bag either. So we've got all of the pieces from bag number three all sorted out here. And this will form now the rest of the Batmobile. There are no figures in this particular bag, so we'll have to wait until we probably get to bag number four before we find maybe our next figure. So we've just completed now the uh, bag number three, and we have now got a complete Batmobile. This is quite a nicely detailed car. It's got a couple of firing rockets here at the front. And those are launched by pressing the buttons here on either side. Did test it earlier, it has got actually quite a, a long range on that. It will fire very far. So we are now up to page 73 in this book. We've still got quite a long way to go. So we're just about to start with bag number four. This will see us now building some of the Jokerland structure. And just looking at the book here, we should hopefully have two figures in this bag. What looks like Robin and the one that I've been most looking forward to finding, Harlequin. So we'll get this bag sorted out. So we've just got bag number four sorted out and we've got the two figures here. Both of them are double-faced figures. And we will at some point do a more detailed video of the different faces. And of course we've got the new figure, Harlequin and Robin in his handcuffs. The handcuffs are quite nice as that's actually uh, a block which has the lock already made into it as opposed to a sticker. And we've got all of the pieces here sorted out and ready to go. If you are new to building Lego it is always a good idea to sort all the pieces out. Just take a little bit of time to do it um, but once it's done, it will make the construction so much quicker and easier. So this is bag number four completed. And as you can see, there's Robin at the bottom of the bike all cuffed up and scared with his nice little baton slash stick and the Harlequin with her hammer. And um, this has actually got a nice detail that I'll show you now. So if you flip this back, do this and that's quite a nice detail I think so that's nice and um, also you've got Robin near the fire hope he doesn't burn his cape and we'll now go on to bag number five so we're just about to go on to bag number five now and this bag looks as if it's going to give us two figures and um, we've got what looks like the body of poison ivy there and also starfire so we'll get this bag opened up and all the pieces sorted out. So we've just got bag number five all opened and sorted out now. This will see us making the carnivore fall part of this set. And these are the two figures that we've got from this bag. And they include Starfire and Poison Ivy. Both of these are dual faced. Doesn't seem to be a huge number of pieces in this section, so we'll hopefully get through this part quite quickly.
Bagnum 5 has just now been completed and we've completed the Carnivore Fall section of Jokerland and we've got two figures in this section of course Poison Ivy here at the side and Starfire here handcuffed with the same blocks there making up the handcuff and on this we have got a part that moves so if we drop that back there this will fall down So we're just about to go on to bag number six now, which will see us getting two more figures. So we are making quite good progress with this set. We've only now got uh, three bags left to go. And it is starting to uh, look a lot like what it is on the box there. So we're just about to start on bag number six. This will see us making the Deadly Duckies section of Joker Land. Um, we should hopefully have something which looks something like that at the end of it. And we will be getting the Penguin and Beast Boy from this packet. So let's get this pack open and let's have a look at the figures maybe first. So we've got now bag number six all opened and sorted out. And this gives us two figures, Beast Boy with the snake and Penguin with his signature umbrella. The Beast Boy does have a dual face, whereas the Penguin only has one. I think the Penguin is the only one in this set which has a single face. And that will now give us all of the figures in this set. And again, we've sorted all of the pieces out just for uh, efficiency and for the speed of the build. Well, there are quite a number of bags in this set. They are quite uh, quick and easy ones to put together. We're probably a couple of hours into this build now. So this is bag number six now completed. And we've completed the Deadly Duckies ride. Which features the penguin. and the three ducks here and it has actually got a very smooth rotation there to it, mechanism this one did look as if it was going to be quite a complicated section to make but in total it probably took me less than 10 minutes to uh, put all this together we're now just left with bag numbers seven and eight and these two bags together will make what is the centerpiece to this set which is the uh, bit where the Joker sits and this features the slide which falls into the toxic tank and of course we will be using the metallic mirrored stickers in this section too We are now up to page 140 in this instruction book 
This booklet does go all the way up to page 223, so bags 7 and 8 uh, are going to be 83 stages long. And as you can see, that does make up quite a significant proportion of the, uh, the instruction booklet. So I've got bag number seven all sorted out and uh, ready to go. Bags number seven and eight do make up what is almost half of this instruction manual, um, but uh, it doesn't seem to be that many more in this bag compared to the other bags that we've done. So hopefully we will get through those pages in that manual fairly quickly. A lot of the pieces do seem to be these more decorative ones, so uh, I think we'll get through those very quickly. Here we have it then folks, bag number seven is all done. In total, probably taking me about 15 minutes to do this. And this forms the base of the mid structure. What I like about this is these Mylar metallic uh, stickers that we've got here. So it just leaves us now bag number eight, uh, which we'll get opened up in a moment, and this should be the rest of this structure all made in a, hopefully about 15, 20 minutes. This is bag number eight, and we do also now need to use the slide as well. So here we have bag number eight, all sorted out. It's well worth spending that little bit of time when you open the bag just sorting all the pieces out as it does make the construction a lot easier and a lot quicker. I always tend to sort the big pieces out before opening the smaller bags otherwise you do end up with lots of pieces to try and sort out. This would probably take me about five minutes to sort out and I'm hoping that this construction uh, will take me then maybe another 10 or 15 minutes. And then hopefully by the end of it, we'll have uh, something that looks like this. Here we have it then, folks, the completed centerpiece to Joker Land. Did do this bag eight against the clock, and I was able to do it in just under 20 minutes. It does have a couple of nice features. So for instance, the hat will move from the back, and then the eyes also move there. So we'll put this all together as it is on the box and then uh, let's have a quick tour of the uh, completed set. Here we have it then folks, this is the Lego Joker Land, set number 76035, all completed. It is quite a big set. We will just now have a quick tour of the park. So we've got the Joker here, I really like these Mylar stickers. And then we've got the slide at the back here, which comes down into the toxic tank there. Have also got a firing cannon. And then we've got Starfire here on the Carnivore Fall, she's been handcuffed by Poison Ivy. This does of course slide up and down on there. And then moving across to this side. We've got the penguin on his uh, deadly duckies ride. And we've got Beast Boy figure here. And then of course we've got the Batman car, together with the Batman figure. 
little tiny figure there, minion type figure, sharks in the water there. And then we come across to the final part of this set. Which is the uh, bike here with Harlequin. Which is the Harley's Wheels of Fire. This is probably my favourite character in the set. And then we've got an upside down Robin here, handcuffed as well. The set did of course come with the uh, exclusive comic. And we've got what looks like now a well used instruction manual. Hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Looking at Toys does feature a number of rare and collectible toys. We can also be found on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. Hope you have enjoyed watching this video and will want to uh, hit the like button. Uh, please do feel free to subscribe to our channel and we will keep you up to date with uh, what we feel are going to be future rare and collectible toys. You are of course always welcome to share this video and just want to thank you again for watching our video.